Hey folks, welcome back to another edition of RV with the Tanners. Today, I am excited to do a test with three water filters, one from ClearSource, uh, one from Campco, and then one from RV Water Source. I'm gonna do the same test with all three. We're gonna be testing how to, if the system is actually removing viruses, and that's been difficult in the past because we just kind of say it happens because water's clear and you can't see it. So with this test, we're going to be able to show you the actual viruses are being removed by simulating that with ink. And then I'm going to finalize the test and do three more with rust and make sure that the rust is being removed from water. Um, the solution from uh, ClearSource, if I remember right, they're going to come with three uh, filters. The first one is a, excuse me, a five micron solution, and that gets rid of the big stuff like rust, sediment, and the large stuff out of the water. The second one is their coconut shell based filter, 0.5 microns, and it gets rid of the, like the stuff like E. coli, bacteria, um, cysts, giardia, just that nasty stuff in the water. And then their third filter is their virus guard filter that uses electronically charged elements in order to grab a hold of the viruses and not let them pass through. So great solution. They use some NASA technology involved with that in order to bring all that water out in a safe, clean, drinkable fashion. Uh, the last thing that I want to just mention, uh, I've done it in one of my other videos before, but I want to let you guys know when you're ordering these filters, make sure you get a deionizing filter as well. It's not one you're gonna be using when you're using it for drinking water. It's one you're gonna use when you're washing your car and your RV. It's amazing to use this filtration system with the deionizing filter in there and there's no water marks left over. The RVs are super tall, you know, 13 feet tall. It's difficult to actually get up there and get water off after you've washed your RV. Using this filter, not necessary. It's great, you wash your RV and no watermarks. Same for your car. If you like washing your car, deionizing filters are amazing. Again, we're gonna do two different tests for you, one on viruses and then one on rust. Let's jump down to the garage. Okay, so now that I've explained to you the numbers behind each one of the filters, what each one can do, either five uh, micron, 0.2 micron, uh, electrostatically charged filtration systems, we're gonna walk through the actual filters. So on my right, I've got the three, two canister solution from Chemco. In the middle, we have the water filtration store solution. And on my left is the solution from ClearSource Ultra. I'm gonna have two demonstrations for you. The first one, I'm gonna actually use some ink. And why I use ink is because it's at the same level, the micron level, as a virus. So I could typically run water through here and tell you that the viruses and the stuff is being removed, but it's hard to see in water because you don't actually see viruses. Again, with ink being at the same level, the concept of this demonstration is, is if ink is being shown on one side and you can still see it on the other as it comes out, that filtration unit did not filter that properly. So we're gonna run it through all three and you're gonna see that. The last demonstration we're gonna do is with rust. A lot of times you don't see the rust in your solution or at your campground in the water supply. So I've got a bag of rust here, interestingly enough, and I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna clean the jar out and then I'm gonna put it back into that water jar and we're gonna do a rust test. And what that's gonna do is able to show you again, visually, if you see rusty water coming in, will it come out of each of these three and which one does the best job of removing that for you? Again, with these filters, uh, if you're full timing, uh, ClearSource recommends that you replace the filters every three months. If you're kind of half time and, and uh, camping realistically during the spring and summer like Melinda and I do now, we replace the filters once a year. We put new ones in in the, in the first part of the camping season in the spring, and then we discard them when we winterize, and then we put fresh ones back in when we start camping again. So that works well for us. It makes me remember what to do. All right, let's get to the actual demonstration. All right, I got my ink solution set up. I've got my uh, filter set up from the RV water filter store. I've got the discharge port set up, and now I'm just gonna turn on the pump and we're gonna watch what happens. And here it comes. It looks not clear to me. I'm gonna let it run a little bit more and then I'm gonna give you a good view. As you can see, that's not water that I would drink. Would you drink that? So let's turn this one off. We've already proved that it is not being filtered out. Okay, same setup with the Camco filter. So those of you watching, it looks like some things have changed. Yes, so the Camco has water coming in on my right and exit down on the left. 
Whereas the previous one just went in on the left and out on the right. So it might look a little different for you. Still got a little bit of water left in the water lines from the last filter as it rushes out and comes into the jar. So for the first five, 10 seconds as it comes out, let's disregard that as Camco filtered. And then we're gonna watch a little bit what later and watch as the water actually would have made itself through the Camco filter. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. It might get a little noisy. All right, so that first little bit of water, we're gonna have some grace there. Let it kind of filter through the Camco. Okay, it took a little bit longer than I had expected, but here it comes. I can hear it rushing through the pump right now. Starting to work its way through the water line. Took a while to fill up those two filters, so we'll let them have that. Starting to get water through. Still got a little bit of air in the lines. Apparently the Camco's having a hard time priming itself from this five gallon a minute pump, which might say something else about the actual filters that they use. They won't allow the water to go through. It's a little bit better than the other one, but it's still nowhere near. You would not want to drink that. If you saw water in your glass that color, you would say, no way, I'm not drinking that. So again, viruses making their way through. Things that you can't see that we're trying to visually represent here are being shown in that jug. Okay, a blast, clear source ultra. Let's see what they can do. So we're getting a pretty good water flow compared to what that Camco was doing. That's, that's pretty nice. And you can see the water is clear. But you might be telling yourself, hey Jim, not fair because you've already used that fluid on the other two. Excellent point. So what I'm gonna do is put in a whole new vial of ink. Mix it up a little, squirt it back in there, get my little stir. Okay, so coming back, now to be fair, the clear source has actually more ink than what the other two had. So I've got probably one and a half vials of ink in there now. And as you can see, that water is coming out pretty darn clear. Again, what does that mean? The viruses are, have been removed. Viruses, same micron level as ink, clear water, representing drinkable water. And what do I mean by that? I got my glass right here. I'm not afraid to actually take a little drink of this. While it goes, you can see that it's clear. Great water. I don't think any of you guys would actually drink ink water. I know I wouldn't, but now I can see that it's clear. I know with my clear source systems and their three canister solution, my family is getting absolutely great water while camping. We've removed sediments, we've removed uh, low level stuff like E. coli and bacteria, and now we've actually made it all the way down to viruses using that um, electronically charged, I'm using the word filter here because it does filter out the water electronically. It just basically grabs a hold of those viruses and won't let go. Proof's in the pudding, right? You can see this jar is getting empty, this jar is filling up. Nobody in their right mind would drink that water anybody would drink this water and i just did we got one more test to go through we just did the ink test next we're going to do rust rust you could probably see in your water but it's pretty fine and probably by the time it gets into your rv you might not see it but maybe there'll be that little haze of water i'm going to completely over exaggerate that and put a pile of rust into this uh, jar over here and then we're going to run that whole filter test again and we're going to see how we can filter rust we know we can be successful in doing viruses, so let's move on to the next step. Okay, we're back with a bunch of rust water. Let's hope this actually works. <laughs> All right, here we go. I'm gonna go in reverse order this time because I already had the clear source Ultra hooked up. So here we go. I'm gonna fire up the clear source. That's clear the water from last time. Working its way through the filters. Working its way through the pump. We'll watch the level on this big jug start to go down, which represents clear water over here. I'm not seeing any discoloration to that water, folks. We've got a second camera on that. I'll keep pulling that video back up and showing you how that's clearly coming through. 
Looks like we've probably put through maybe a half a gallon so far, maybe a gallon. Water's looking real good. Water's basically gone down quite a bit here. I think it's made its way through all the filters. Yeah, that's gone down quite a bit over there. We've come up over here. Again, I'm gonna do this for you one more time. You wouldn't catch me drinking that water under no circumstance. This water, let me get my trusty glass out again. Here we go, hope I don't spill any. This hose out of here. Fresh, rust water, no rust. Nothing, just great clean water. That's crazy. Hey, if you haven't seen my other video on ClearSource on the Nomad, that device is for you boondockers. Uh, I'll put a link to it, one of these corners, wherever it goes. <laughs> I can never remember when I'm uh, videoing these. But for you nomads, uh, the Nomad solution is one you can actually do out in the wilderness. It pulls water out of anything, rivers, stream, creeks. It uses a 12 volt power supply and then it supplies that great fresh water to you. You don't need an actual water source, like from a campground and whatnot. So take a look at that video if you're a boondocker and you want uh, fresh water as well. So clearly, this is still pumping out great clean water out of the rust water. All right, off to the next two. Time for the camcoder to run through the rust test. Remember, we're gonna have a little bit of clear water come through at the very beginning from the last test from the clear source. Oh, we're coming through, running through the filter now. Looks like we're getting a little bit of water to come through. This Camco really is having a problem pulling a lot of water through this, the same pump that we're doing with all the other two. I wonder if it's because of their filter. Maybe it's just too, too dense to be able to pull water when you're on an RV pump. Well, it's been about a minute. Uh, it appears that the Camco is filtering out the rust, so congratulations on that. But it is struggling to pull water out of this uh, jug through the filter Again, the same water pump as we've used with the other two, it is just dribbling water out. So I'm gonna give the Camco a huge fail on being able to pull water from a source, like your uh, holding tank and your RV. Check mark, it looks like you're doing the rust okay. I'm not gonna drink it because I don't trust it. Uh, but water pressure, huge fail. Well, you know what? <laughs> now that I... I Thought I gave it a passing grade. I'm coming back and gonna give it a failing grade. I've looked at the water now in the other camera close up and it is letting rust through. It sure looked like when I was standing here that it was passing and I gave it a passing grade. But when I walked up there and I was getting ready to take the hose out and reset it for the next experiment, no, that water is actually brown and you would not wanna drink it. So fail in water pressure, fail in rust test. Okay, sixth and final test. Let's see what the RV water filter store can do with rust. Some good water flow, that's a positive. That water is not looking too clear to me. <laughs> it's looking pretty brown. It filtered some, ooh, it's getting worse now. Maybe that was the water from the prior one. That, to me, doesn't look like it's filtering much at all. I'm gonna raise this up so you continue to look at it. That's just brown water, folks. Um, I don't even want to call this a filter at this point. I don't know what it's doing. Um, I guess I could sum it up in yuck. So let's just go ahead and kill that. Um, huge fail. Uh, water pressure, pass. Water filtration, shoot, two check fails. This thing is horrible. Um, I didn't expect it to be that bad, uh, quite honestly. So. Um, if you have something like this in your RV, you might want to consider looking to upgrade your water solution because you're not filtering out stuff that could be harmful to you and your family. Hey folks, that's about a wrap to this video. Uh, hey, thanks for watching. I hope you got a lot out of this. I had a good time doing this video, uh, both with the ink test, which is realistically virus, and then the rust test. That was pretty eye-opening to see that one uh, RV water filter store filter didn't do anything with the rust. Um, Obviously, it's the viruses that you can't see that get you. The rust test was more for fun because you, you would see that in your water. Um, but just 
I'm so excited to know that the clear source system that we have and we've been using for many years gets all of that out. Uh, if you have any questions about this video, please put them below and uh, try to get back to you. A lot of times you guys have great questions and if I don't know the answer, which I'm not the water expert, I'll pop it off to my uh, contact at ClearSource and uh, they'll get back to me and then I can put the answer down below. Thanks for watching folks and have a great day. Bye. So if you haven't done so yet, please remember to hit the subscribe button and then hit the little bell so that it reminds you when we post new videos.